All right, we are looking at um, tissues in the human body. So by the end of this, you should be able to identify the four types of tissue in the human body. So the first thing I want to talk to you about is what is a tissue? This is a group of similar cells that work together to perform a specific function. Remember I told you that you're made of trillions and trillions of cells, and each cell in different parts of your body is just a little bit different, even though it all has the same DNA. So for example, your skin cells are different than your brain cells. Your brain cells are different than your heart cells. Your heart cells are different than your lung cells. Okay, so each different type of organ is made of specific types of tissues, and those tissues work together in order to form the overall um, tissue that the body is made up of. Okay, so, sorry. so there are four types of tissue found in the human body. There's the epithelial tissue, connective tissue, nervous tissue, and muscle tissue. As we go over each type of tissue, you're going to fill in your graphic organizer um, and the corresponding notes and color your tissue science structurables accordingly. So you're going to color them. So epithelial tissue. Epithelial tissue absorbs um, nutrients, protects your body, and filters blood um, and se um, secretes different things. Um, there are a couple types. There's the cover lining. This is found in internal organs and the outside of your body, like your skin, your digestive tract, um, and then the vessels that go run through your body. And then there's glandular epithelial tissue. This is what secretes hormones. Remember, hormones are like proteins that tell the body to do things. Um, so it secretes hormones and other fluids such as saliva. So when you get saliva in your mouth, that comes from your glandular epithelial tissue. Um, when you have stomach acid that's produced, comes from glandular epithelial. When you sweat when you're working really hard, that comes from your glandular epithelial. Um, examples are of organs that do this are your thyroid, which is in your brain, your pancreas, and your stomach, your salivary glands, which are in your mouth, um, your sweat glands, which tend to be underneath your arms. They can actually be anywhere. You can sweat anywhere on your body. Um, and your mammary glands. So women, when they're breastfeeding, um, have these glandular epithelial tissues that allow them to um, secrete um, breast milk. Okay, connective tissue. Connective tissue provides structure and support, cushions organs, and stores nutrients. So there are a couple types. Um, we've got loose. This is scattered arrangement of cells in an extracellular matrix. So outside of each individual cell, they're not all packed together really tightly and closely. There's some space in between some cells. And when there's space in between some cells, we call that extracellular matrix. Um, so these loose connective tissues are like fat cells. So if you have any type of fat anywhere around your body, okay, this is a loose connective tissue. Um, and this typically will attach to your skin and to your muscles so that it doesn't move around. Um, fibrous connective tissue, these are densely packed. So unlike the loose arrangement of connective cells, these are the densely packed. So as if each cell is a book, found in a library where they're just one back to back to back to back. And these are densely packed and examples of this are like tendons and ligaments. So all those things that connect and allow you to maybe do movement, okay? It allows your bones to stick to each other and your muscles to stick to your bones. And then there's cartilage, bone, and blood. And they are also connective tissues and they have special properties um, that don't uh, do not put them in other types. So in other words, they don't really follow all the loose connective tissue rules and they don't really follow all the fibrous connective tissue rules. So they have their own category because they are unique. Nervous tissue. So nervous tissues carries impulses throughout the body. And this is composed of two types of cells. You have your neurons. This is the basic unit of the nervous system. These are your nerve cells that flow all the way around your body. Um, and these are composed of cell bodies, dendrites, and axons. And we'll get into that more when we talk about the nervous system. And then glial cells. These insulate and anchor neurons to blood vessels. So that our ner uh, nerves are not moving all around our body, we have to have them anchored to different things in our body. And so these glial cells help hold them to our muscles, to our bones, to our skin, okay, to different blood vessels. So the nervous tissue is, carries impulses or carries messages throughout the body. And then finally we have the muscle tissue. 
Uh, this is made of muscle fibers that relax and contract. Contract is when they get tight. Um, so there's types of muscle tissue. You have skeletal muscle tissue. This moves the body. Uh, examples would be like biceps, triceps, um, or even the um, orbiculus oculi, which is the stuff that makes your eyes move back and forth so that you can look around. There's smooth muscle tissue. This controls involuntary muscle contractions. So you don't know that these muscle contractions are happening consciously, but they are happening. And examples of that are the muscles that help your stomach kind of squish your food together, your intestines to move your food through your digestive system, your blood vessels, which help uh, move your blood through your uh, vessels, like your veins and your arteries, and your bladder, <clears throat> which, you know, when you have to pee and you um, go to the bathroom, this is what actually allows your bladder to express or get rid of all that pee. Cardiac muscle tissue, this pumps blood to all the body cells. This is like your heart. Okay, your heart is uh, a big piece of this. Um, so understand that muscle tissue is made in those three different types, but they all relax and contract to do their job. So the issues with tissue, now that you've learned about the four main types of tissue, well, I'd like you to color and cut out your true uh, or tissue shine instructables and glue them by their tabs to the center of the body on your paper. You should be able to lift each one when you finish so that you can review the different types of tissues. Okay, just like that, and like that, and like that, and like that, so that you have a full book of all your different tissues. All right, thank you very much.